Okay, so basically the uh, the coaching is starting soon, but uh, before we actually start, we'll uh, just go through a couple of games and uh, look at what I think I'm making of mistakes, and so I can bring them to the coach and tell him about them, and um, maybe see if he has some other things to say about all the things. This game, uh, I'm playing Ash. It's one of the games I've been taking uh, over the past week, and uh, ended up losing this one. I've been losing a lot lately. I tilted a little bit last week, and uh, been working a lot with, with the psychology behind my tilting and why it happens. In this lane, I'm against um, I'm against Misfortune and Swain, and uh, to begin with, in order to actually win against Misfortune and Swain, it's uh, very important to not get hit by Swain and uh, make sure that I get some boots fast so I can dodge his abilities. Good idea here would actually have been to start boots and parts instead. Because the lane is actually really really safe for Ash. Um, and we just wanna scale out of uh, of the early game where the where Swain and Misfortune has the power. Here we see me dying the first time. I, did, I was riding, so I didn't see what actually happened. Let's uh, review it for a second. I know that it's a Shaco that I'm playing against, which means there's probably going to be a level 2 gank. Shakos do this very often, where they start red and then they gank level 2. So I should have, should have actually thought about that. And noticing misfortune's uh, movement here, I could actually see that there was. If I if I thought about it, I would actually be able to see that Shaco was coming in. You see here, misfortune starts moving up out of nowhere. I should have known at that point that Shaco was there. Down over here and notice enemy movement. Luckily in this gang, Shaco got the kill, which means that I'm not actually that far behind. I don't know if I can... 
gotta check. Mm. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, not that. There we go. We can see here that uh, gold wise, I'm actually at almost the same, even though I've been dead. The only difference is that I'm back at a bad time. Meaning I can only get a, a pair of boots, which is which is good in this uh, in this lane, in order to touch Swain's abilities. Okay, let's just look at what happened right here. You see me die again. I gotta figure out why. For once, my support, of course, shouldn't have died. But uh, moving out of that. Yeah, it's quite clear to see right here that. Uh, that once the heal was used, I should have backed out and not greeted. Of course, I got the flash out of her as well, but... Knowing that Swain is right next to me... I should have just known that I would never get him. At that point, I should have... Backed out. So, it's, um, as you've seen in my other games, I get too greedy. Again, here I'm dying because I'm greeting. So I just wrote down that I uh, I need to practice knowing when to back out and uh, when to go in for that for that matter. This is super bad as well. I know that Shaco was here recently. Of course we get him, but I know that I, I knew that Shaco was here as I saw him earlier. So I have to until I see him at another place on the map, I have to assume that he's always there waiting.
this was fine. It was, uh, it was just a mechanical outplay right there, and knowing that Swain wasn't there, so you can just watch it again. See, I've just seen Swain in the mid lane here. That way, I know he won't be there when I get to lane. I know he's still moving. His fortune moves up. And uh, yeah, she just missteps right there, and I get the slow off knowing that it's free. Why not just go left instead of flashing? That's actually, actually a good point. Let's just look at it real fast. Oh, you mean right. I think, of course, if I'd known that uh, that the stun from Sarath was going to hit, it would have been different. But at this point in time, I think I respect her a bit. I have e slow on, of course, and then I just respect the damage too much, thinking that it's better for me to just get out fast. What do you mean second her E? Oh, you mean uh, you mean uh, getting uh, maxing it for points? I'll just check real fast. Uh, she's uh, she's only got one point in, in E at this point. Again here we just we just disrespect the Shaco too much. I knew I couldn't get out here, so I just tried to get a kill off or something. But disrespecting the Shaco is just stupid. I need to I need to focus a lot more on where their jungler is. Honestly, that's a, that's a really good question. I haven't re I haven't even thought about that part. Seeing as I just got the kill on Misfortune, I have Hacker in bot side. The the correct call in this situation, I think, would have been to just push it in and then uh, rotate up to Hacker in vain. There's uh, absolutely no reason to to go for the kill here. You see, I'm going, I'm going forward here for no reason whatsoever. When Sarath altered, I should have just backed off and gone to the dragon instead. That would have been the correct play. Oh, you can't see map, of course. I just move it real, real fast. There we go. Yeah, if you uh, you can see the map here. You see it here? The correct play would have been to just move up to Hecarim and then uh, then just play around the dragon with him instead of, of course, getting hit is bad as well. That should not have happened at all. But right here, as soon as Sarath altered, I should have moved up and the wave was gone. At this point, I only had 700 gold, so it wouldn't been it wouldn't have been a good back. It wouldn't have been a good back, but playing around the dragon would be. Right now, in in uh, the elo I'm in, a lot of mid laners they don't want to swap until uh, you've at least taken bot turret or uh, or the tower plating has fallen for some reason.
Yeah, this this play makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know what the hell I, we were going for here. I feel like I've just seen Shaco in the top lane, and then I think I'm I think I tilted this point a little bit, going for the, for the place I shouldn't, because at this point I know that we can one shot someone, and if I just eat a bit earlier, seen Swain in the in the bush, then I could have altered him instead, and we could have one shot him. But for some reason, I go for the misfortune and I get hit by everything from Swain and just end up dying. Right now I'm 79 and she's 71 and I was actually winning on CS so there was no reason for this play at all. It was uh, super uncalled for. I'm gonna write down that I have to uh, think about um, when I make plays. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We should have uh, we should have poked them down uh, before even going. I mean, we have the burst, of course, but but that's it. Hi, right, man. Thanks a lot for the follow. Okay, the coach seems to be about ready, so uh, we're going to do some replay analysis in this first session, and uh, just gotta find out how we're talking. Right now I'm hard stuck in the gold leagues, but last season I was I peaked in the promo for Diamond and I'm going for Masters this season. So uh, I just have to get out of here and uh, not tilt, basically.
Hi, man. Hey, hey. I'm ready whenever you are. Yes. Need to get the payment over. It says I can only, mm -hmm. I can do dollars or, or Danish crowns. What do you mean? Like, I mean, you can convert it, right? Uh, yeah. Paypal. Yeah, yeah, I can. Um... I thought you were from Germany, by the way. Oh, no, no, I'm from Denmark. Mm. <laughs> there we go. I've set now, and we're good to go. Okay, I got it. Everything is cool. Okay, so uh, as a first session, what I'm always doing is the giving the best foundation to the student, which is basically the replay analyze. Yeah, that's the best we can work on. Like yeah. that's the the best one hour you can have ever. Basically, yeah. than going into the random life coaching when we don't know each other and stuff like that. So I think you are okay with the, doing the yeah. replay analyze. Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna screen share in a few seconds. Yeah. Okay. You've already chosen a replay or? Yeah, yeah I was already looking. Yeah. Mm, we're gonna pick a game which is average like 30 minutes, something like this, because what's the most important usually on people who never get coaching or like even platinum people, diamond people, gold people, it's like usually the most important things to pick up are from the laning phase and then a little bit of mid game, you know? So the late game isn't that important for us anyway. Yeah. But before we go into the, the 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 live game, we can talk a bit about your runes because I notice your play. You, you are playing the domination on a ash. So, is it like your own preference? Have you tried playing inspiration or? You just, yeah, just I've uh, I've been playing inspiration a lot, uh, but I feel like right now Revenant's Hunter is just so strong uh, that it's a shame not to pick it. I get so much sustain, and uh, when I'm not going, uh, because I go Gale Force. If I if I were to go uh, Immortal Shield Bow, then I'd probably go with the Inspiration Tree as well, because then I get the extra movement. But I get that from Gale Force uh, when I'm going that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's up to you. But overall, we can you can even take a look into the win rates. Yeah. Like I, I'm usually doing that, but yeah. I do that so, a lot. I do that a lot. That I mean, the, the cosmic approach velo velocity is obviously the one of the best rooms for her because you apply it with the with her passive, you know? Yeah, So exactly. you just have an easy, easy game, game closer. But what we can take a look is basically where it is. Um, the second choice. Okay, so this this is this is 51. Mm. Ravenous is 50. Okay, so I would say it's not bad, but look at the amount of the games, yeah? So, yeah. I mean, if you, if you really prefer to, to use the Ravenous as you, as you want, then okay. Mm. But I would overall still stick to the approach velocity. Depends on on your play style, but we're gonna see. Do you play Bloodline or do you play Lucky City? I play Bloodline again okay, uh, I, because of uh, because of going Gale Force. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but overall, remember Ravenous Hunter is gonna heal you uh, anyway from auto attacks and abilities because current Ravenous Hunter is not only healing from abilities; it's healing as well from the auto attacks because it's Omnivam. It's, mm. it's a bit chance. So right now it's like. Uh, Something like life still, you know. So you have a lot of healing, basically, yeah. Yeah. But if you if you if you go, if you are deciding to go actually the second domination with Ravenous Hunter, I would consider okay, I would consider going the overheal. Since I mean, Prisons of Mind is really good, but they they are going Prisons of Mind, mm. but they don't have such such a sustain like us you do, you know, because you have a Ravenous Hunter, you have a Bloodline, you mm. have a Doran Blade, it's like so much. Like I would, I would really consider going the overheal for the mid game, late game. If you yeah. are stacking the Ravenous Hunter, then if yeah. it's your preference, then I would say overheal is gonna work perfectly. And the other thing thing which I which I notice is the Caitlyn with PTA. So is it your another preference? Because usually Caitlyn like is focus highly on fleet or or the lethal temp no lethal temp is it yeah, like it's, uh, 
That's actually because I've been trying it out. Uh, I only just started playing Caitlyn this season, and uh, and I I know uh, there's a streamer called uh, Saber XFSN Saber. Where yeah, I he, uh, I looked at yeah. him and he goes uh, he goes press the attack. So I wanted to try it for a couple of games. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Uh, do you know by the way? Um, like you know how fleet work works. Like yeah, you just move and you got the heal, right? Yeah. There is one thing, uh, if it comes to dashes, like your E and stuff like this, it loads the fleet, fo fleet footwork faster, it's good to know, you know? Okay. Did you know that? No, I didn't actually know that it, it yeah, loads faster so with dashes. Yeah, so basically, uh, like, it's counting the same as walking, but it's gonna load it faster. Like, okay. the longer the dash, the, long, the, the, the faster fleet is gonna get loaded, so that's mm. why it's quite good for her. And if it comes to Caitlyn, uh, you can cancel, okay, if you're watching Saber, you, Saber, you probably know, you yeah. can do the EW and EQ out, yeah. right? Yeah, I do okay. that a lot. I do that a lot. Okay. All right. Then the, the only thing we need to do is the foundation in that case. Do you remember any of these games which we should take a look into? Um, I feel like uh, I feel like the one where I'm the top one here actually six seven four. That one I think is uh, might have actually just looked at that myself. Can you just check it? Tristan, oh. Lulu, okay, you are with Soraka, not bad. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at that one. I yeah, feel okay. like that's let's a good see. game. Let's see what 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 we can do if it mm. comes to the laning and everything. Mm. I need to start recording as well, so you we can have it saved. Yeah. Okay, so the elo is around platinum four, I guess, right? Yeah. Like gold one, okay. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> The first most important thing I expect laning, there's one, one before it, it's like tracking the enemy jungler. That's the thing we always start with because thanks to the tracking of an enemy jungler, you're gonna just basically know where he is without any words. So how I, what I would like you to do at the beginning of the game when the minion, minions connect is we're gonna take a look on the top lane, we're gonna take a look on the bot lane and what you have to notice, what you have to notice, what you have to see is who is leashing, who is basically leashing the enemy jungler. Mm. That's gonna be the first factor which will improve our laning. Yeah. Because if I if the only thing I need to know is who is leashing, and then thanks to that we can track almost every path of the enemy jungler. Yeah. And they're unpredictable because on this hero they are un pretty highly unpredictable, but it should be fine. Yeah. Basically, I usually I always go for uh, usually I always go for, for checking where they start. Mm hmm. And uh, a thing I've noticed a lot about myself is that I I get too greedy, actually. Uh, for example, right here, as you saw with Lulu, there was no reason for me to go yeah. back and try and fight her, but I got greedy for the kill. And yeah. I sh I, that was just stupid, because I ended up dying for it myself. Mm -hmm. One thing, actually, I think it might be useful for you. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know the proper pathings if it comes to invade? Because what happened is quite similar. I mean, they were probably about to cheese you anyway. Yeah. But they are, they, I can I can just remind you how to properly invade. If you would like to invade with your teammates from your side, which is this, mm. then I would like you to always puff rather from mid lane or here, but always like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I know, do that just Fabius well. division, yeah? Never like this. That's like troll. You just ping yeah. this person and that's no enough. It's fucked up, you know? Yeah. So always like this. That's one. And then just simply here. Someone might Definitely. be here. One word is cool. Then it's okay. Mm. Uh, if it comes to how to prevent them so it's good if mid laner or jungler are staying here mm. what you can do like would be good if you keep the word uh, if soraka puts word here why because how they are supposed to invade is something like this and then if you are if you are both standing here you might get cheesed you know yeah it's definitely and then they, yeah, and so then they'll move down and around uh by the golems yeah and up so that. they they rather kill you here or you rather encounter trash or brisk and killing your teammates here so it's yeah. rather good to just leave a ward and just chill just don't go there yeah and that's the same as you have to do if you was from this side then if you was from the the if you want to invade the red side then the same thing oh my god <laughs> the same thing <laughs> it's gonna be basically this yeah like yeah. this for the walls abusive yeah yeah so that's it and the cheesy possibilities obviously if you wanna if you don't want to leash, which I wouldn't recommend leashing that much, is I would like you to rather cheese here. Yeah. It's, it's quite nice cheese. If they go here, you might have a... Like my friend used to call it a poke and run. 
because mm. Poke and run because you just poke and run. You don't you don't go for a longer trade because of the jungler. From this side is quite okay, but if uh, Tristana was about to overstay with Lulu here, mm -hmm. then the our jungler has to quite it's it's quite easy for him to to join us, right? So that's yeah. why usually from this side, if they're about to cheese us, they should do the poke and run, mm. unless they might one shot you. But the problem is the longer it takes, then the jungler is coming to you, right? So yeah, yeah. But a barrel cheesy cheesy good. And okay, let's see what happens. So the first factor, hmm. we, we're gonna track uh, the information. What you can see, she's bot, yeah. Yeah. I would say I would say probably topside this game, but the only problem is Lulu is missing. So that that's looking quite confusing. Yeah, but I I, 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 I but think I that say, I would say top. I would say exactly. Top. I'd say he's yeah. top in this game. Okay, so now the first one of the most important things right now for you is gonna be you need to know which side they're gonna path. So. So red buff. The mm. Gragas started red buff. In theory, you should mm. buff top side. Obviously, it's just, just normal thing, right? right? From red to blue mm -hmm. in the end. So if Kajik started the the red buff, his red buff, then the puffing should be like this, right? Yeah, definitely. And, and uh, at around uh, around 3.30 to 4 minutes in game, he'll be uh, done with his blue buff and ready to gank. No, that, I mean... <clears throat> That would be bad if he'll be ready at 3.30. You said 3.30, right? Yeah, it's four minutes. <laughs> that That's terrible. Then he's bad. So the information which comes from what we are talking about right now, there are a few factors. Let's start with the 3.15. That's mm. the most important timer for you right now. Why? Scuttler spawn. So Scuttler yeah. is going to spawn at 3.15 and every good jungler should be in time for the 3.15. Mm. So in this game, there are junglers who you, who are able to do just one. They, they prefer to do like Nunu, Zin, Jarvan. Mm. What they prefer to do is just free camps, you know, for level three. They, they're more cheesy champs like Nunu, Zin. They mm. rather just do the one camp they, they gank and stuff like that. But yeah. usually what's the most common for low elo or just overall the champs which are not able to full tier mm. is, let, for example, red buff, blue gromp. That's enough for level three, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, that's good to know, yeah. So now... 3.15. If they are gonna be 3.30, 3.40 on a river, then they are trolling their back. Like, they are junglers for able to full tip the jungle, like Evelyn at 3.15. They yeah. finish the jungle at 3.15. Uh, Lilia, 3.15. Cartus, 3.15. And they are ready for a scatter even a little bit before. Mm. So the information is, at the 3.15, there might be even deciding moment for the game. Yeah. And the first information right now here is first. Gragas is gonna have the Scuttler here. He should secure it without any problem. And if Ka if the Kajix is puffing bot, then around 315 he's gonna be bot side. The first information is there is not gonna be a Crown Fiesta on any of the sides of the river. Why? Because they're going opposite sides. That's the one important thing. So yeah. we don't expect our jungler to fight. That's one. Otherwise, if Gragas started the blue and then puffed bot and Kajix puffed bot, then the info is okay. Hmm. 315. I rather have Pryo, we wanna join him and help him, if we can, if we can, if we're able to, what I mean Pryo, basically, enemy pushed, we can join, we can secure yeah. the scatter, cool, yeah, or we can even get a kill, yeah, yeah. and it might be win, but yeah. this game is gonna be basically the info, okay, he's gonna be opposite side, uh, Kajik is gonna be opposite side, yeah. so, 315, you rather, I'd rather, for the 315, like I would say 250, 240, you worked, why, because, they are unpredictable. So as I told you, what happens if they do red, blue, gromp? You might get gank insta before. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's why I said uh, 3.30 usually, because uh, then they have done the scuttler. And, uh, and then they'll come gank at around 3.30 when the scuttler is done. Mm, but in my opinion, they can do that before. So I would say 2.50 yeah. for you is like the, the, the most safe one. Yeah. So that's the first information tracking. And thanks to knowing where he starts at the beginning, I can, I can probably tell you when he's going to be after the first clip. But we'll mm. see. For now, laning. So, there is one problem which comes from uh, leashing. Uh, basically, the problem if it comes to prior. The longer you leash, if you leash at all, if it comes to top laners, to bot lane. Mm. The, basically, if the other side is not leashing and you're leashing, what should happen is enemy priority from the level one. What do I, what do I mean? That's, so simply, they have, they have that's more because time they have more time, yeah. Yeah, and what happens? So, can you trade if they have more minions? No. no. Basically, they, they shove your minions. You ha you have you you cannot trade. So, less possibilities to actually count this more aggro. They mm. pressure, and if they are good, they will continue the pressuring. They might abuse level two. Basically, most comfortable situation for the bottom for the top lane is 
I don't need, I just wanna press early so I can control the line, yeah? Mm-hmm. But the key thing is just be careful if it comes to gang. So right now Tristana is quite this, this good position. I don't know where is Lulu, maybe Lulu is here or here. I think Lulu might be cheesing, I don't know. Yeah. It's quite, quite quite confusing, but for now the info. This and uh, this thing, I would rather don't want to. If you, if you are planning to actually storm the line, then it's good if you want this. Okay, so line is quite slow right now. What's the Soraka start, the summoners? Halo Blades Tristana, that's quite cheesy. They yeah, just want well, to uh, the bomb. Basically, he just wants to, wants me to move up and then he can burst me down. Yeah, with V, yeah. Okay, so uh, I can already tell you that Tristana make one, made one mistake already, which, you, which, which we can make you aware of. Hmm. Because that was just bad, okay? So, as a enemy bot, you would like to cheese probably. You wanna kill someone level two, right? And stuff like that. You, yeah. just, you just wanna basically have an opportunity for that. Yeah. Okay, so first the one one thing. The second wave of the bottom lane after three minions uh, of the second wave is gonna be level two. Yeah. I'm almost sure it's, it's three minions, not two, it's three. It's because yeah, I know it's two. Top lane, top lane mid then it's one, it's minion, one minion after the second. Hmm. On your bot it's three minions. So would be good to manage the wave to the point when it's not in a safe zone. I call it safe zone. Why? Yeah. Because that's, that's the because it's position close to turret. Yeah. yeah, so look, she's getting a prior already, but why would she press the fucking E right now if she can try to keep the wave pressured around here? The next wave is gonna come and around here she ca- has a possibility to actually hmm. play aggro on you. Yeah. So if you was about if you was this Tistana, then you are, you are like, okay, that's quite good. I'm a prior, I can I can play aggro on you. If I was this uh, I Tristana. I should I yeah, if you was Tistana then I wouldn't no. even have ranked my E at this point. I would have waited with ranking my E because that way I could keep the wave where I wanted and then I'd rank it once the second wave crashes so I can push it harder. Yeah, that you shouldn't for sure rank or you can rank, but the thing is he pushed it too fast. Like he pushed yeah, it into the definitely. silence. He just basically wasted the opportunity to uh, play aggro level two. That's the mm. one problem right now. Definitely. So if you were scared, just, just, just slow down, just slow down. Why, why is she pressed E right now? She's like, okay, bro, just chill, chill, chill in the yeah. safe zone. I'm not gonna do anything to you. Look, and that's, that's why so I- pointless. That's why I tried to catch the, uh, the wave here, so I stopped mm-hmm. and made it, made it crash here instead of uh, actually reaching my turret because that way I'm safe from Tristana. Mm, let's see, let's see what, how, you, how you did that. Like, I mean, but, it wasn't required to even pull, you did, like, because the wave was coming anyway, so the wave mm. blocked it, it didn't require anything almost, so that's quite good. Why Tristana is gonna be level 2 faster than Lulu? I don't know, Lulu was AFK or something, Yeah. so she's what she was the XP doing. difference is like, yeah. So right now that's quite okay. The worst which can happen is enemy shoving you under the turret, but that's gonna be the thing for the later or maybe in a moment. Okay. So I think I can mention it already. That's the one of the most important mechanics if it comes to laning. It's do you know what's gonna happen after she properly shoves shows you under the turret and the minion dies? Like do you do you have something in your mind or do I make it clear already? Like yeah, I... just what have? Wait, wait. Then the wave will bounce, of course, because the minions yeah. will meet again, and then we'll take it from there. So at this yeah, point, but... the, because the wave, uh, the entire wave died before my wave comes in, that means they'll meet in the middle again. Yeah, but do you know what? Like bounce, but bounce towards who? Uh, at this point, it'll bounce towards uh, towards them. Okay, but did you have any coaching coaching sessions? No, I've not had coaching sessions before, but I've played uh, a long time and I know about all these basic... Uh, I've I've watched a lot of wave management videos and and uh, think a lot about okay, wh- okay. what I do at all times. Okay, so so I can guess you had the... Okay, so you had the knowledge which wasn't fully focused on you, but you have the knowledge, yeah, that's mm. right. So the wave is gonna push towards them and right now there are a few factors, so... Yeah. Is it gonna be good for us? That's the question. Like this level is not that bad, but overall it's usually bad for us. Yeah, the at, wave is still pushing. And at this point, it's really, really bad that the wave pushes towards them because of the timer and Kasik's uh, wave uh, jungle clear. I know from Mike yeah. Rackers being where he is that I should ex- expect uh, their jungler to be approximately the same side or at least yeah. at the same, like, yeah, yeah ex- the same quadrant yeah. exactly. So what I should do? Okay, so right now. I would say if you start hard, like there are two options right yeah. now. Rather fast push or slow push. Slow push is when we're gonna stack the wave. Good, mm. we're gonna gather the power of the wave. So if it's slow pushing, then basically the more of our minions will gather, they will slowly push towards. So yeah. yeah. So slow push is a sitting right now and that's the best option. Why? So as you know, 
240. If you if you want a hard push to reset the wave, which is usually good, mm. you're gonna risk your ass. You're just gonna risk because it's the timer. They are somewhere probably waiting to cheese. It's just not good to Yeah, and, and Ash can just they're not gonna, push fast gonna, enough. She can't yeah, fight they, fast yeah, enough. Yeah, it's gonna end up around here in a exactly. like danger zone. Basically, you're gonna int yourself. Yeah. So the prevention right now, there are two options. There's no jungler and this is level two. So we know we're not gonna ask anyone to show with you, and that's that would be bad as such a level. Mm. Right now, simply, simply last hit, gather the second wave. And then we can think what we're gonna do. We basically wanna show with bigger power. The safest you can do is to stack two waves together with last hitting and then see what happens. We can mm. hope for an enemy team to push you, but if they wanted to prepare a gank, then Tristana is a big brain, she shoved, and right now the wave is bouncing towards them, so Kajik says a free gank. Mm. So the prevention, the only prevention right now, slow pushing, gathering bigger waves, so you maybe can even 2v3, or with the big wave, you can crush the wave. Yeah. And it will be hard for them to prevent it, okay. So let's see what you're gonna do, because you know a lot. So let's see. Okay, jumpy, jumpy, but exhaust quite late. Yeah, yeah but you don't, have, you don't have to step back. Do you know what was the problem right now here? You could continue the trade because Tristana wasted W and T. She yeah. didn't even proc fully. So yeah, right now the problem is vision. The question if you have ward. Because right now the trade was yours. Hmm. Okay, you didn't have ward, so we don't blame you. No. But and overall it was full trade, yeah? Yeah, and uh, that's why I walk forward again. Actually, I stopped right there. I remember this because I knew that they just pushed and they wouldn't back at this point. Because if they backed now, that would just be stupid. And uh, that that means they're cheesing somewhere. So I didn't want to step too too much forward. And Soraka didn't think the same as me. So, of course, she stepped forward and, uh, and got jumped on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which lost to her flash. Do you know what's good right now? That she's pushing that. So I would fear other thing. Maybe Lulu was helping, but I would say no. Like let's let's still predict that it's bot. It should be bot mm. by by the Eloy, but what's really good is that they are not communicating with the jungler, which is confusing for us, but overall the lane is gonna be cool for you. So just mm. chill right now. You shouldn't be forcing anything right now before that like, till 330 you can chill a bit. Let's yeah. let's allow Kajix to do the scatler, then he'll probably just finish something or he will recall. And then we're gonna talk mm. few few one minute what, what he will do. But and, okay, uh, let's see. At this mm -hmm. point, I try to uh, abuse the uh, the pushing power of Tristana and hold her right where we are right now, actually, mm -hmm. by by yeah, auto attacking yeah, yeah. a little bit, trying to uh, trying to not make the wave crash into tower, but keep me in the mm -hmm. safe zone from Kas yeah. Kasix. Yeah, I'm I'm positively surprised because usually when I'm telling someone um, this thing, like which is happening, I'm telling them, okay, look, but that's the best you can have. But you know mm. what's the what's the best for them? To show off this line because it's, it's dangerous for them, right? Yeah. So right now you are becoming in a safe zone, like getting into the safe zone, but they're getting into the danger zone, which I call the danger zone, and they mm. should push it. So mm. you now just observe how hard, how fast they're pushing because we can tell in their in their head it's like, okay, let's show off this line, we can recall. And mm. I like it because you know you are adjusting the tempo of an enemy push to uh, by, by pushing as well so i like it so you fight for a uh, basically keeping the sales so that's good that's really proper so let's see what are your problems because right now it seems like it's okay really. mm -hmm. it's not bad one more minion is fine and then then we chill yeah, okay two more minions yeah and this is gonna be really punishable you never i ne will never allow you to do what they did this is like so sinful so do you know what they did and what they didn't do yeah uh, at, at this point, I can freeze this wave and just yeah, catch it all, and then, yeah. and then I can hard push while they're recalling, and that way I can mm. get a better back with, a, with an entire wave more of gold. So there are two possibilities. The one, the safest one right now, get it on your chest, pull here, mm. wait, and the wave is coming. So you, what you need to know is when the wave is, because if wave was here, then you're not gonna freeze it, right? Because it will take like... 20 seconds for this way from here to go here mm -hmm. but the wave is arm almost between the turrets so yeah you can you, you should try to pull yeah and and we know that the wave coming in right here is not a cannon wave but the next one will be that way when i push in i can do it fast enough that i can get the recall and then yeah. they can't push fast enough so i won't lose minions once i get back yeah so right now the worst they can do is not pressuring the opponents with the walking wave to mm. make sure it goes under the turret that's that's basically asking to get freezed yeah so let's see how you're gonna pull and let's see what you're gonna do because in theory the opponents are forced to stay one more wave because they mm. didn't make sure that you are not able to freeze yeah yeah so let's see 
Mm -hmm. But where is the pool? Where is the pool, bro? Yeah, I should have pulled yeah, up. The, the I... problem, the problem, you, like, you, did you see where they are? Yeah, you should mm -hmm. take it on your chest. Let's, let's, let's move back. They allowed you. Like, the, the first thing is they, you are allowed because of them. And now I will tell you how I would do this. The moment it dies. Look. Uh, like, you can stay without moving here. It's, it moves and then mm. here. And wait, wait here for a moment. Yeah, keep it aggro. And it's okay. But the problem is we step behind instead of just get it on you then pull yeah or get, get it here and pull especially considering That's... i have a soraka so i could i could just yeah, tank the wave yeah. so the, if it comes to pull maybe you didn't think about it because look like three minions are not enough to keep it if you actually pull this two mm. it, it was no problem like i mean she was walking but look where is the lulu lulu just vanished somewhere yeah. you know it's gone just 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 forward up so that was that's the one problem like the chance is is, is it wasn't used mm. like the the chance could could be like better yeah you allowed it to crash actually yeah, yeah so that's, uh, you know that's what bad to do, but, mm -hmm. so what i would do okay so they rather cheese we saw that on the vision yeah they're they're standing in the bush again trying to cheese <laughs> us cheese, yeah okay and in theory what she talked look by the way 335 37 it's cutler up wow mm. they decided to go okay but this might be problematic. I would be careful from this side because mm. if we know, I guess we can guess he might be here. He should be. He it should be already done. So mm. what is he doing? Maybe he's on the other three bush or he rather reset. Reset. Yeah. I think a thing that I think about a lot is uh, when when my jungler does something, I have to always think about their, their jungler doing the same or something. Yeah, uh, that's really cool. So when when they, when my jungler ganks, what would their jungler want to do? There's no dragons up. They want to gank. They want to look for a gang on the other side of the of the map. Yeah, or they gonna power farm right now yeah. like, to clean the camps. That depends on our people. But right now, I would say quite troll is going in the full tree bush. It's qu quite not needed right now. It mm. it takes so much time, and you might encounter someone fa face checking. Mm. My my face check someone. So what is the quite simple word to not waste time to not get face check right now here because mm. the info is he's around the bot side. Yeah, so the tree bush might be dangerous. He might be ganking from the tree bush. Mm. Just word here, just in case you get a flank from the Kajiks, yeah? So yeah. right now, just a word around here. And then we just carefully, carefully stay around near this side. And we're going to see because the one, the problem which made you into this situation, which is quite uncomfortable, cheesy, Kajiks maybe. Uh, wave is still pushing, is mm. we didn't pull the wave. But okay, let's see how you're going to, how you're going to fight with this, with the situation. So look, do you have a word or Sorak? Okay, so Soraka has it. So I would give a call word here or something, mm. you know, just in case of getting flung. Just in case. Mm. Yeah, because you don't have to face check as we talk. Just simple word here. So just in case that he flung, because look, this is like so many factors are on advantage of him flanking us from the team. Yeah. Mm. Okay, right now it's not pushing. You're not gonna fast push. The next one is cannon. You're gonna gather the wave and then we're gonna try to crush it. Tristana in bush. I don't know if Tristana if she base right now. It's really cringe. Yeah, I'm at, at this point. I'm trying to not move too much up because, as you say, I don't know if Tristana has recalled at this point. Mm -hmm. Um, so but Tristana trolling. Tristana, yeah. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I'm not moving up. Like you see, I'm standing still right here, only yeah, moving up good. to to get the minions, <laughs> because I can't I I can't know if Tristana is still standing around in the bush waiting for yeah. waiting for me. But right now I would say she, like the Q, the Soraka pressed Q here and she didn't get her Q passive heal, you know? Mm. So True. I would say Tristana is not there unless Tristana is faker in like a edge, edge of the <laughs> True. True. But right now, the best you are doing right now, like the, you are doing quite the best thing. You are last hitting when the opponent is missing, so he's losing so much. Even though it's slow push, mm. he, he's away, so he's losing. He's yeah, getting, he's because more of my minions will be dead. Yeah, you are using minions. basically his weapon against him. That's really good. Mm. So let's see. Okay, so the wave is wave is stacking. Yeah, wave is slowly stacking. She base. So what's the thing? You know, the problem we talked about is this. Like I would be worried about this right now, but overall, I would say it's time to actually start her pushing and you want to try to, to, to crush it. Why? Because you, you gathered two waves. Like mm. the difference in minions is, is higher. Look at the ranged ones. Yeah. So right now the minions are the biggest ally right now. And the best you want to do is to solve it. So I would, I would change the tempo into the hard push and the, I would prioritize not fighting, but just forcing my opponents to go under the turret and shove the lane so I can recall. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. But the only problem worth here. So let's see if you're going to get punished. And meanwhile, let me let me mention one thing. So, our junglers are like, our jungle is making quite a long adventure right 
now I'm not gonna lie because he they, he ganked he get a scuttler now he did the raptors or I'm not sure if he even did the raptors but there's one thing um the raptors of our Gragas are up again mm. no like it respawns so there's our uh, usually a hourglass the same for a dragon like if if his camps are respawning here there should be hourglass mm. and you know he started both sides like he didn't do the cracks but he did the raptors I'm sure about it they respawn mm. so I call it something like second round, second cycle of the clear. Usually yeah. the if, if the jungler was like every in Cartus, they care about power farming. And so it's simply like doing something like this, Cutler rather gank or not, recalling. And the moment they repeat the cycle, the camps are spawning. So that's what I call repeating the cycle. And right now, Gragas is maybe quite over saying, maybe trying to do something, but in theory, it's the time slowly for the jungler. If you see our glass of his first camps, Mm. of the site he started, if you see the hourglasses somewhere, then it's usually the time they, they are recalling and they are going to path to the site they started, right? Because if the, if he, if the second uh, site was the second... Uh... Oh my God, like, I mean... The, yeah, I, know the, what, I know what you mean. First he did the, yeah. the first clip, then the second site is going to be later because he cleared it later, right? Yeah, so definitely. it's logic. It's logic. He's going to repeat the cycle by, by the site he started, right? Exactly. So exactly. right now... You have to know that because it's quite easy to predict them later. That's the, that's the future, future I, call it, I call it future tacking. Right mm. now, he's going to be soon and it's going to be something like this and mm. in this. And meanwhile, he's going to make a dynamic decision if I should pass mid, then if I should maybe switch into the bot mm. or if I should continue the clear. I, so uh, right now, say, mm, yeah. Of, often when I play, I try to uh, play around my jungler a lot and make sure that when I see him, uh, for example, if I see my jungler doing uh, doing the, uh, the the crack in the, in the top side, then I know he'll path down to Raptors and then Golems. Then I can then I try and make sure their uh, AD carry will mm -hmm. be pushing into me once my jungler is at the Golems. That way I put my my enemy in a bad position. But mm -hmm. in my elo they don't really react to it. But I I think about it a lot with my own jungler. I just have to think about where their jungler is as well. Mm -hmm. So like overall, if you as well manage to de develop like a. If you're able to type to them, okay, uh, Kajik should be in theory bot, Kajik should be in theory top lane, you know, mm. stuff like that, and it helps for them. Mm. Right now, I would say our Kajik is rather finishing some business around here right now. Mm. Like, he's rather about to gank right now, he's rather finishing or he's recalling right now. Like, I mean, he rather overstays around the bot, that's what mm. I mean, and in theory where he should be, to the B. I think at this point, he, he has recalled because Tristano recalled. <laughs> And knowing that uh, he wouldn't gank, and then he would recall instead and go for uh, go for the clear again. Yeah, but the clear is gonna start from here, right? Exactly. Because and that... if if we talked about, we, we don't know where he could get a kill, but he got a kill somewhere. But we, we as we predicted, Ilao was li Ilao was leashing, so I would say the cycle, the second cycle, is gonna start from the top side. Mm. So right now, Gragas should be slowly from the top, from the bot side. Okay, so I would say right now we have quite chill time to actually start solving. If you mm. have in your mind that the info is Kazik, Kazik is like four minutes, he finished the business with a scuttler, he's gonna go B, he's gonna puff top side again for his second clear, right? And then he is gonna slowly puff bot. Mm. In theory, I always call it in theory because people are unpredictable and you know you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah? especially like, down might... here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now, mm, do you have E? Because, okay, you don't, you don't. No, so, because I, I yeah, like yeah, I say, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I know where K6 is, and because of that, I don't start, e, I, I don't go E till level four. I do that okay. a lot. And now I see already one problem. Mm. <laughs> so you're clicking behind when you have this wave. You see, you click yeah. behind of that. Like so, right now, well, look. So you know, she reset it. Let's check the items. Mm. Yeah, two long swords. How much gold you have? Seven hundred. Not bad. Always recall for boots or just I don't know boots, long sword, double long sword, stuff like that. Basically. If you have all of the informations in your mind, which we talked about, that he should path top side slowly, then man, this is this is the best chance right now, right? Crash, yeah. go B. Yeah. So let's see if you're behind. Because right now, what I see, you got a last hit, then you click behind. So what's mm. gonna happen? Let's see. I think uh, at this point, I'm respecting Tristana too much because of her hail of blades and yeah. the fact that she'd been back. So I'm uh, I'm I'm scared yeah, of going in. That's possible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I think it's the the momentum of us having prior to crash, it's over. Mm. 
So right now you are just here pr prisoner, prisoner on the on the line. You have you got our line. Wait for a no. See you see that's what we talked about. Hmm. The this champ, this king, he didn't even recall. He's still chasing somewhere. That's why I always hmm. say in theory, bro. Yeah. And what our Gragas did, he 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 started the second the second cycle, but he didn't recall. So that's why we are always saying in theory because they are unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah. True. But okay. So it's not bad. Not bad anyway on your line right now. Okay. But poor Soraka doesn't know she needs to press W under herself. E, I mean. <laughs> but okay. So that was so stupid from her, but it's okay. Uh, you cannot possibly pull the wave right now. That's a proper decision. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you are not alone. You are alone. Uh, mm -hmm. Something bad can happen. So just get it. And let's see if there is going to be a chance to actually recall. But remember, remember there's one factor when you had a chance to pull and you didn't pull, wave crashed. And right now, I would say that could be like an outcome of many situations right now. If it comes to that, you still didn't recall. You know, mm. just making you aware, maybe like possibly, highly possibly that back then, if when you didn't pull the wave, the situation could be different. Maybe you was in this current standing class data right now, you know? Yeah, definitely. Or even such a small fact to see on bottom line. Bottom mm. line is wave management, abusing level two, level three. Let's see. Let's see. But I would say, like, for sure could be helpful, you know, what happened. Mm. Like, I mean, could be helpful if you actually pulled back then. But okay, right now, can I pull? Let's see. At this I point, can. I could I pull. Can. Yeah, I could pull it up. I mean, you... I would say you can't, you couldn't, you couldn't. I couldn't? Yeah, because I mean, they are pressuring you right now. Like, if, you, if uh, you're yeah. gonna try to step up, then I will just fucking jump on you from a side and I will try to poke you anyway. Like, true, look, true. If, they, if they are big brain, then they're like, okay, let's solve, bro, and let's go B because Gragas is both side. But do you think they are thinking about that? I would say no, 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 not at all, so, not at all. I would say sometimes just communicate. Just, you, need to, you need to know what you want to do. If you want the kids, if you want them to gang, if you want him to gang, just tell that, you know? Mm. Like, if you if you know, have such a knowledge, then you need to de develop the habits of shoot calling. Because right now, I would spamming if they over... Like, Gaga's combat, you know? And we, mm. we're just going to see if they go or if they're going to overstay. Like, if you wanted to take an attempt to pull, then first of all, you have to stay already from here. Mm. Because you're not going to manage to do that like this because they're going to basically rush you instantly. So if you, wanna, if you want to take a small attempt to even actually take a try on a pull, then you have to stay from here. Yeah. So you're going to take it and try for a moment, even for one second to delay it. But if you stay from here, impossible. They're just going to be like this, you know? Yeah. You can't. So mm -hmm. right now, the positioning, if you want to give yourself a chance to pull, then stay from here. Mm. Okay. So you know what I mean? You know, is it clear? Yeah, what yeah, I meant it, in yeah this it, is, it is. It is. It is. Definitely. You walk here, but okay, but where are you gonna pull it? Like to the wall? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't. They, they will just fucking rape you here. Yeah. yeah so you it. can get it back. So the only chance was if you if you if you positioned from here. That mm. was the only chance because you can see like do uh, then run. You know. Mm, I see it. Sometimes it's not even risky, but you just have to read the opponent. So let's see. Mm -hmm, not bad, but look at the HP. Gragas is coming. Not worth it. They're coming for a ward. Do you have E? Yeah. The wife is pushing, but okay, should I take the okay now? I would say um, Kajix actually he overstayed. We saw him on mid lane. I would mm. say he's recalling. And now two chances. Rather cracks or instantly botting again. Like yeah. they're unpredictable. I would say maybe wolves. Maybe he, he skipped the cracks. He saw he's no raptors, he may be wolves right now. But what I would do? So right now they have a failures. He might roam. I would mm. say you're you are, it's okay. So I would say Gragas secure for a moment i don't know how we're gonna communicate but simple cause like Graga secure we wanna push i don't know just you need to talk like in a simple language with them like mm. asking for help to stay here just secure here i don't know just simple call because you wanna recall you wanna find a recall and you know what i see look there are a few factors first of all little mana other mm. thing tristana half but with mana but okay you know what's the most important is this yeah the this exhaust the, most the moment they fucking jump on this wave you they end you know so mm. right now you don't you shouldn't step click behind, man. You wanna solve the lane, you wanna take out them because right now the, there's few factors that are allowing you to actually try. I would say Kajik is he's still here. You you can you can you should try that you should take out them to actually solve and recall. Okay. Because the problem is right now, like the problem is you have the knowledge, everything is cool, but the problem is we still cannot use the tempo. Like the tempo is slow because we still didn't have a chance to recall. Or mm. we maybe didn't use the the chance we had before to make the wave on our advantage. So right now, I would like you to pay attention to this factor. But the biggest factor is this, and the wave is still pushing. So you want to pressure. You want to you wanna actually try to finally pressure them back. 
Okay. And you shouldn't be stabbed. You want to just take out them to actually feel aggressively. If she jumps, you should be fine. Hmm. But okay, the, the same shit is happening, but can you pull now? Yeah, you can. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Up. Now take it on. To, okay, closer, closer. Boom. Yeah, exactly. Let's see, let's see, because there yeah, might I, be a problem. I, I don't know. I know I won't do it because I, have, I've, I haven't actually pulled up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you could you could do that better, like more deep, you know? You need to mm. take it, like you, like you are grabbing it with your hand mm. and you're taking it, you know? You need to get closer, then just go up. Yeah, it's not a technique yeah, but, I've used before, so. It's yeah, it's not that bad. It's not that bad anyway. Like it's slowing down the wave. That's good for the. Okay, you press out. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I would say I would say something around here. I mean, okay, like now, um, third clear. Like I call it the the third is when this spawns. So mm. this means this, yeah. It's quite confusing. I would say he's rather doing some business here. Yeah, I'm thinking he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna recall and he's gonna repeat this cycle because the main buff is spawning. Yeah, exactly. And he's gonna say, and he's gonna want to go for dragon. Mm, rather dragon, yeah. Rather dragon because he has prior. He's all the time prior. Then he's gonna recall and he's gonna do the first clear. Mm. So third clear. The, his first camp. So our glass here, opposite our glass here. The, the camps here they started. Yeah. Okay. So Tristana, not managing that well. Uh, could be pull, honestly. Like if you didn't step that back. Okay, let's mm. see. So look at her. She's stepping behind all the time. You don't have to step back. So when you're gonna step back? Let me see your, your spacing, your movement. Okay, now to. You can start moving forward. You can start moving forward without any problem. Can mm. you see it? Yeah. And now you're gonna take that. I'm, I'm not gonna say like always. Yeah, do that always and then die. No, no, no. No, no. It's like you're gonna take the atom and then you see what they do because yeah. you're gonna have like two seconds to actually slow down the wave to actually pull it <clears throat> yeah. forward, left, here, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Problem because they were about to overstay. And now I would say Lulu Mana Tristana. A while online, a while online. Okay, cheesy, cheesy. Yeah. Lulu, third time showed herself doing this. Yeah. Okay. And and for because Soraka has been <laughs> falling for it every time I use my E. Meaty from Abyss, it's so meager. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Can we take Atom? Yeah. Yes, yes, we can we can yeah. pull it. And you see I'm I'm grabbing it here. Where I should have just pulled it up. Was possible, yeah. It's better, more comfortable. <laughs> You are still waiting for your first base jump. Mm. You can pull, but I would say you have so much gold, you know? Like, it's okay if you start hard pushing right now. Kajik showed on mid lane, he's pushing top. He's rather on the top side right now. Yeah, and I start hard yeah. pushing there. But now I will I will make sure... Let's see if you do everything perfectly, because I, I can already tell you what you should do, but, but let's see. Mm. Right now, I'm after I push it, I have, I'm not joining this guy, no. No. Me with Soraka are making sure the wave field is gonna properly go under the turret. Mm. Then I rather join or I rather just recall because I overstayed for so long. So I would like you to really just reset the wave and recall. You don't yeah. you don't care about the Gragas. Like Soraka can help you. Mm. But first our meeting has to make sure the wave is pushed with us. Mm. So you don't want her to leave. You want her to make sure the wave is gonna push. And like what I can tell you, this is info. This is the mirror. Yeah, the, the so minions the will wave always is be gonna the same. get blocked in a safe zone. Yeah. So you have to show propel you with care. You don't want to go now. If you go, you are playing too much for the teammates. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is recall. Perfect. Okay. I think me. So let's see. Let's see what are going to be the problems. Right now, there was one problem. Like the pooling. Pooling is like the thing we need to practice on. Okay. You have arrow. Let's see what was happening there. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm waiting for, for the last gold for an item at least. I can see that. I think you should be looking mid lane right now. That was a huge look. If you just, just landed random arrow here, maybe. Mm. I mean, okay, you're waiting. What's now arrow? It's needed? No, I think they die, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, wait, wait. I, sh I, should, I should move mid here and catch the wave instead of moving but, but because it's pushing towards them. But did Soraka touch it or what? I think Soraka did something to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there it is. Yeah, meaty, meaty, hello. <laughs> hello. We have an imposter in our team. <laughs> oh my God. 
Oh my god, she's like, ah, I wanna come, I'm not gonna risk us hitting, you know, I will just, I will just destroy the false opus, so we can be behind right now, don't worry, and then it's, you don't gonna lose anything, oh my god, you go, you should go both, I think, yeah, you should go both anyway, but, you know, she, she made, like, so, so cruel mistake for us. Mm. Yeah, look, it bounces totally, like, the slow push, like, um, Gragas could deafen it, you know, you shouldn't go mid, I mean... Like, the, you should go bot because wave was pushing towards us, but look what she did. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. she's like, oh. And now the wave is frozen on their side. Yeah, and and I, have to, way, I have to go out of position to, you know, to even, uh, to even mm -hmm. see us. Yeah, by the way, our glass was here. Like, this, this was the first hour glass. Like, I mean, that he did red buff, you remember we talked about mm. it. Like, the second, the third clear, uh, Kajix was here, and he finished his blue buff right now. So, like, in theory, it should be like this, and it is like this, yeah? Good yeah. to remember always. The, the, the future puffings for you, are, you're cool with the what's going on, but maybe just keep in mind the future puffings. That's going to yeah. be cool. But, like, she she, she it quite hard, but you can show it. Why? Three people meet and just show it. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, depends if our is going to TP, but look, what this is, that is this miscoming. Oh, I my don't know. God! <laughs> oh, what's going on? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. I should never have gone up for that plate. I should never have gone up for that plate. I should have listened to myself I mean, here. I mean, and... I mean, you could you could join her if you are. Oh, you go and to fight. You shouldn't run. Like I mean, that's hmm. the like I wouldn't run. Like you see, only one person they are seen on the way. Hmm. I would just press arrow here. You hmm. have her, her. You have heal. She has alt. Yeah. Just join her. Just join her and fight. So that's like to pussy mode. I think right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you didn't even see. If... No one is chasing you. She's doing well. We could we could actually do something. And he's yeah. BMing in a wave. So you know what was the best possibility, actually, if you're so scared? Go here. There is wave. To be freedom. Yeah. In the wave. Yeah. You, the the ultimate possibility is always too huge. So right now, you, you, you're you chicken. You're a chicken. And even, no, 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 no. Just no. Not worth at all, for sure. And look, she, she, she survived. That's yeah. the best thing. That's know? the worst. I, so, I could that, have uh, so I know what's the problem. What the problem is becoming right now. I mean... Okay, we can flame it on her. Why? Because she fucked up the wave. You have to solve it. And okay, so proper communication. This is important. So the moment she started walking to get a plate alone, you five pink, yellow, five yellow pinks to be careful. You just force her to go B. Mm. We need to be dominative in this game. Like mm. they not go. Okay, listen, the rule on uh, platinum, gold tilo everywhere. Maybe they are not like deep. It's like random. I wouldn't even category the people to the elo. If you want to win, if you want to shoot call, if you want to want, you don't know what to want, if you know what you want to do. Mm. With the moment she reached the wave to hit the plate, you spam pink her to go B and to not touch the plate. And that's all. And you both are going to go B, yeah? Yeah. So I think the, 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 you don't shoot call. And that's going to be the problem if it comes to playing on bot with random people as well. And if you have such a knowledge and if you know what to do, then the problem is they don't know. So mm. make them aware by simple shoot calls and maybe like B. Like type one letter on a chat and it might be win. Like mm. it might be win condition rise, you know, already. Mm. Because you wouldn't flash there, you wouldn't go there. But the, otherwise the fix for the situation was for sure. You just arrow the moment Soraka was there and you just trying to fight the Kajix. Yeah. He, he, and like, Kajix wouldn't even have been able to get out either because he was silenced yeah. and uh, and the yeah. arrow would, would have changed. Yeah. Know. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but this is BM from her. I would arrow I would arrow instantly this. Yeah. So you should you, I, I think I know what is the problem. Like I Maybe feel like I'm holding I don't know what, what you think of that back then. Because for me, it's like, okay, I press Alt, she press E, whatever, but you have to secure her. So this arrow is offensive, but as well for peel for her. Yeah. You need to fight. Like yeah. the moment someone else is getting them, she just has to, 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 to fight back. Yeah, I need to be um, less, uh, less scared with my arrow. Yeah, but did you see where you press the arrow? Yeah, that's, that's a bit trolling. Yeah, you, you just have to, like, confidence. And even if you press it to, like, it's better to press it too early than too late. Yeah, yeah. So you you right now you are doing a bit opposite of how I'm thinking. Like I'm more into like okay, they jump, I out, I'm gonna fight, yeah? yeah. I just I pick up the fighting sign, I'm not waiting. Even there's... the wave the wave is bad for me in this fight as well because I didn't fight before. Yeah, yeah. But okay, like if this Gagas is fake right now, he's gonna freeze the wave for you, and that's gonna be cool. But do you think he's gonna do that? No, look, I don't know. He's like, oh what to do, what to do? He's like this. Okay, yeah, crashed. Terrible, terrible, terrible situation. So right now, I think for you, right now, a bit <clears throat> season. I, I will need, like, how I force my students to play when I see something like this. I'm usually doing like, I'm telling them, okay, listen, starting from now, uh, you're gonna play on limits. I want you to contest a lot of 2v3 situations. I want you to mm. not be hesitant. It's better to just 
take atom and die than not taking the atom and playing pussy full game to to hope for for I don't know for for like to get a free win. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the kind of master and teaching the people. And I think for you it's gonna be be good, like to actually. But we will see in the end. But for now, like the two situations, it proved that for now it's a bit more like mm, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should wait more. Uh, Maybe I'm gonna wait till the mid game, but bro, no, the, the, like this is dead match. This is dead match. This is this is this Elo is a dead match. You have to, they fight you, you fight them. Uh, you wanna take the items to fight. You wanna to be free. You wanna know your limits. That's how you're gonna improve, basically by playing on limits, yeah. Mm. And that that, that that that's that that might be the most important thing right now for you to keep that, that in mind. Like I don't lose anything. Like, you know, what when you lose a lot? Like it's not about RP. You lose so much when you are going into the game, and you are not getting so much as you could from it and mm. the, when you can get so much from the game when you're actually feeling confident or maybe you're gonna develop the confidence by playing more aggressively and taking more attempts to actually fight because that's how you're gonna learn, learn that's how you're gonna feel the game that's how you're gonna feel the limits it's for you it's not about the understanding for you it's about like like a chains which are keeping you behind to actually play like a beast we wanna make you the beast you know we wanna mm. make you feel that you can do something mm. like honestly from what I noticed for now, it's more. I need to, I need to motivate you to be like the alpha male in this game a bit more, and it might move. Like sometimes it's not about the the decision. Sometimes it's about like playing to safe. You know, mm. remember like the LP. It's gonna be the final outcome anyway. After you get more confidence, you don't need to play safe to get LP. No, mm. you you can just develop more aggressive skills more. Like the place I which will allow you to do more, and then you will get LP anyway. So it's a process which will come to to you anyway. Hmm. But right now, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, let me um jump back for a moment. Okay, that's cool. Always the situation. Okay, when you are contesting this dragon, I would like you to always take a look on the wave to know the situation of it. It's not bad, yeah? No, it's, a, it's a fine wave. It'll push towards me. Okay, yeah. Did we solve it? Plate? Do I take the plate? No, I go no, back. Why? I go back. If plate was here, you can greet. But plate yeah. is not. Yeah, plate, is, so plate is full, so I just go back. Yeah, yeah. Let's recall. Girl falls proper. Okay, so that's the problem. Because right now... I have 800 gold, which I could easily buy, and I could... Okay, so bottom lane is about tempo, and what mm. you're gonna do right now is not tempo. This is no. overstay, which is taking away the possibilities from you to mm. actually snowball, because you have 800 gold in back, and you're gonna sweet for this fucking plate. No, mm. you just wanna stay efficient, and you wanna care about the tempo. So the more recalls you do, which provide you gold, which provide you items when you can, is good. So right now it's overstay, it's the tempo problem. So that's one of the factors we are struggling with right now. I don't know, you are doing it first time. Like once Soraka forced you, now you are the one, okay, let's just wait, let's yeah. just hit it. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, what about the timers? Red buff, red buff into the blue. Yeah, and so soon, yeah. so, soon, soon, I would say slowly, slowly getting to be both side again. Hmm. If you see the, the timers, okay, so he did the red buff, he did the red buff. Uh, timers, timers, slowly both side. You overstaying for a plate. They are coming from a base, man. Mm. Can you? Do you agree with me? That's 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 not good. Like the tempo, yeah. you you are wasting tempo. Definitely, here, definitely. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. so oftentimes I overstay because uh, because I want uh, I want it to be mm -hmm. a cannon wave that crashes when I recall. Mm -hmm. But is it cannon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look, now we can accept it only because it's cannon wave. So they they need more time to solve it, and you have more time to recall. But yeah. if you're gonna recall, but it's still see. a wasted it's, it's a wasted chance you're before wasted. because I could recall freely. Yeah, yeah, and you could recall even if you. If you stepped here and you press the recall, you could be what as well. Why? Because it was cannon wave. Mm. On a cannon wave, you can accept. We can accept what you did yeah. because the cannon take eight, eight, eight hits mm. and it was cannon wave. So first of all, they push. They have to force. They, they have to fight the cannon to push. Then mm. the cannon gives you eight hits. So it was acceptable to not actually overstay. But what you do, you do the cracks. That's that's the problem, man. That's like you have a lot. But I think decision making, what you have, thing. Mm. The tempo, tempo, more aggressive play style. Right now, there's two problems we notice: pulling the waves, three factors right now, which I already noticed. Mm. Okay, yeah. So Tristana reset it. You have 800 gold. Your Soraka is resetting. I don't know why enemies are still not pushing. Terrible, terrible, terrible. One situation made the bottom lane over right now. I would say this is this is the end of the bottom. Mm. Like the moment you can you could come back, 
and actually pressure even with Soraka, you ball over stays 800 gold, 800 gold to use back then. That was free yeah. And yeah. now what? Now They're I'm just going to lose the tower. You, you, first of all, Kajik is bought. You're always saying, what can happen? I but lost the tower. Uh, dive. Yeah. Dive. They're going to get tier one. You are fucked. They roam. They're going to apply the press for me. They're going to end the game probably. I think yeah. that's going to be one of, like, you, you see, like, such a simple factors, right? I, I didn't be honest for a play. And you may, I, I just make you to, I, you may, I have to make you realize even this one fucking play could end up the game mm. right now. Mm. If it comes to you actually having a huge impact on the game, because from what I see, if Kajix was good, your bottom lane ends right now. Like, really, look, this into this dive, or you rather are forced to go B, you are like half mana, probably. That's like the, the fat, 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 fat mistake. Like, yeah. the, the, biggest, the biggest mistake you ever made in this game is right now. This yeah. one played. Definitely. Yeah, and, yeah, and I move up. And... If, Yone, if you didn't, Yone didn't roam, because Yon. He made a bedroom. Why? Like, he, like now this guy has. To, I mean, we're not gonna blame it only on him. You're gonna blame it only on you. He wanted to help, mm. but maybe he doesn't know tier one mid lane is too valuable to actually roam for yeah. a, both summoners bottom lane. Yeah. But the situation is only because we did one play. Mm. He was supposed to stay on a mid lane. What? Why? Because look. Because this way, spot. this way he'll just if move. He's gonna force too much. Yeah, Kajix he'll, comes, man. He'll lose man he's, gonna be, he's gonna be free, free, free and. Aphelios roaming time is so fast. Gregas is top. There are so many disadvantage factors. Hello. Mm. First of all, this radar is doomed or Aphelios is going to join. But it's going to be free free. And I think it, it is going to be flip. Because Kajix mm. is ra rather finishing the blue buff for Grom, then he jumps and he joins you. Yeah. But let's see what happens. But right now, honestly, if an enemy jungler is good, you might end up the gamer. Because like of this Yon, of you, doing like a plate into the, the cracks into right now here. Mm. But let's see. Okay. Yeah, Kajix was top Kajix side. Kajix was top side. Wow. But Aphelios, yeah, quite fast. Okay. Yeah, and I move up too far there. There is no reason to try and, try and chase the Lulu again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, that's like basically... The thing which when you are not gonna get punched whenever you are, but for me it was the end up of the game. If I mm. was Kajix who was supposed to be bot side right now, in theory, because like usually they wanna the good jungler want to stay efficient as well. He's not gonna suddenly show here. I don't know why he was here, but okay. Like probably he was about to get dive, and then the game was quite different, you know. So that's lucky what happened. That's really lucky. But look, the outcome is here. And do you know what it means to lose the tier one turrets, by the way? That means that the entire uh the entire map is open for them. Yeah, they get yeah, this new circle. Yeah, the problem of is lanes. about to start. Like the tier one is most valuable here. Yeah. Like because if they want to die from here, then the tier one is standing. But the one, the moment tier one is open here, then it's becoming really hard. Like this is this is the moment of a losing game. Like, mm. uh, now I would say you're gonna lose. Probably they're gonna start getting pickups around the jungle, or you are rather just gonna go here. You want a lane and you know what's gonna happen, they're just gonna yeah, fall and they're yeah. gonna just close you from here. Yeah. Hmm. So the moment tier one mid lane is open, the problem starts here. Yeah, because they're gonna just close you, boom, hmm. boom, boom, boom. They clear you that you die, both die. Because it's easy, it's easy, like boom, hello, yo, we are four men, we are five men, we're gonna kill you. Hmm. So sometimes around this moment you have to be really careful, you have to pay attention. Sometimes even without seeing people, you have to step back and you have to give the start, you know? Yeah. Yeah, right now, because that of the tier one, like the, our, the outcome of the tier one is one of your decision. So it could be worse, but it's still bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, do you agree? I know. Yeah, I, 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 mm -hmm. I agree. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we speed up. I have, I have a problem with, uh, with like overstaying for, for waves like I talked about mm -hmm. and, and then just uh, recalling for the crit cloak. I, for some reason, I don't do that. I noticed it a lot in my, when I've been looking at my own Watson replays. I don't I don't recall for the for the crit cloak for some reason. I mean the the, the crit is the, the 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 thing which you want to get the the latest unless you have the first. Mm. Wait wait. I mean you you mean you recall for a crit item instead of getting pickaxe or what did you? Uh, no, I I like before I had eight hundred gold so I could recall and then I could get the the cloak of agility. Uh, then, and then go back to lane, and I should. Do, I, I should have just done that. I would say if you don't have, if you if you have gold only for cloak, then mm -hmm. you just buy the cool, and stack the cool for okay. hundred gold. Okay. Yeah, and so 
if you didn't have, if you, I don't know if you buff the clock, I didn't see like this. You mean this? Like, yeah, you didn't that one. Yeah. A I, pickaxe, so rather. I already had, I already pickaxe. had a pickaxe sorry, at that point. Sorry, sorry. I mean, back then, mm. cool plus refillable potion. Okay. Unless you're about to really finish the item, then we can agree on clock. Mm. But if it was early level and you didn't have pickaxe, then you just, instead of the clock, you just sort of use, you're going to buy the cool, you're going to buy refillable potion and the lining yeah. goes on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, Word here always or here. You need to you need to see this bush. I mean, you it's worth it, but man, you know this is open, yeah. Yeah. The problem, like I think, sh something should happen on bot. Like the 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 opponents to win the game, they have to close the bottom. They have to finish you, and that's all. Yeah. Right now, you should be should be doomed. Like you should be just punished. Like this lining shouldn't have a place right now, in my opinion. But the Kajik is prioritizing some shit. Okay, what happened? Yeah, but why Tistana is, I mean, okay. Easy. Shove lane. And recall. And recall. You cannot overstay no tier 1. I'm gonna speed up a bit mm. to the mid game because, yeah, the time is almost over, but, like, but it's okay. To, to, to spend a bit more. Okay, is it kill? No. Okay. Ooh, okay, so... Dragon. So, should I instantly go on a dragon? I mean... They don't even start it, you know? Really good is to first shove them, join them. Yeah. Because the, the turret is being pressured. Mm. Unless they can kill you, then it's other thing. But if you are level 10 to level 9 Tristana, could be even better anyway. But the best you can do in such a moment is provide push, then join objective. That's mm. always. Unless you really have to go faster. But I would say if you came from this side, you probably got yeah, right now. I would have I would have had more pressure if I'd come from the other side as well. Ilaoi. Mm. She got stopped, okay. Mm. I remember at this point I was thinking that we should actually go to Drake, but uh, but the team was pushing and I pushed along with them, for, which didn't show that I wanted to do the Drake instead. Mm -hmm. And then Kha'Zix got it for free. Oh, you don't win them. You don't win them. Like, unless they are really bad right now. I mean, she's level 9, but she has Lulu, plus she has Execute Owners. But she had Exos, so right now the problem was actually like, you stepped back when the Ortistana had Exos. In such a matchup, you know, if you play with Soraka or if you play against Kaisa, Wayne, mm. Tristana is good to take, okay, listen, support, take heal for me. I'm going to take Exhaust. Why? Because you, you have bigger chances of 1v1. First of all, Tristana, 1v1, Kaisa, 1v1, yeah. Wayne. They are 1v1 champs ADC, usually. And if, if you're going to be there with heal 1v1, you're going to lose. Yeah. Okay. But you if you have Exhaust, you're gonna win. So I would say I rather want to depend on myself with Exhaust than, than Soraka, because if I was you right now, I wouldn't even run. I would just Exhaust her and outrate her, probably. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't know. Oh, you mean you got pushed. Okay, okay, you got pushed. So not, nothing bad. But you know what, what we should do? Like, I mean, it's great if we can finally solve, like, get the started, solve the wave properly under the tier two, and we can finally start mid game. Mm. So let's speed up. Yeah, because like, you want to apply the, ma the map, you want, you are uh, us, you are us, you want to just press arrow and win the fights. Yeah. Okay, the only chance is you don't even have to move right now. It's, it's so pointless to move right now because like, it's not going to change anything. You was, every step is taking you a little bit of, a little bit of moment. Yeah, it's like a moment when you just don't move, you just want to cast as many auto attacks to actually win. Yeah, that's actually true. Condition where minions. That's actually so, true. Yeah, and girl force in the end, obviously below the, the, the 30 HP or 50. Yeah, and you don't move at all, but here you are trying to kite. But that was the, the only chance you had was to not move, and yeah. Tristana wasn't moving, you know. Yeah, so that's an important factor in such a clutches. I would say just stop going bot, go mid lane. Like, mm. I think we start, just go on go bot. Just tell the Shen, just tell the Shen to go bot, Shen go bot. Just give the turret. Don't, don't, don't try, don't try to force. Yeah. Okay, there are, there is one possibility on bot lane, which I'm just making you aware. When I'm behind, when there is no objectives or we know they are not going to do it, there is one possibility. Mm -hmm. It's usually freezing bot between the tier one and tier two. This is quite good. If you're behind, you don't have much to do. You tell your support to go B and you're going to set up a freeze around here. This is like gold mine, mm. you know? So the, the, the Tristana did really bad mistake, or maybe she was forced to do, is she didn't make sure under, like that, that's probably what she might be doing as well, the, what ADC has, ADCs are doing. After tier one, they push one more wave, but they don't make sure it's going to connect between the turret. Mm. 
so the opponent has a possibility to infinite gold mine yeah yeah so i would always mike i would like you always to make sure if you have a possibility someone to secure you to show it properly because yeah. this is a possibility to actually chill online right? yeah or to at least slow down the wave because yeah she didn't make it make sure it's gonna bounce from the tier two that's mo- mo- quite common mistake Okay, mid game starts, but look, you don't know where it's Kajiks, there are no words. Stay here, stay here. Wait, yeah. don't move forward, or you're gonna end the game. Uh, I like like him, like him. Yeah, exactly. uh, possible dives here, here. Wait, just wait near the tier two. Don't do anything. Just don't do anything. Just wait, yeah. Don't move. We vision here counter world need. You need to buy more counter worlds in this game. You need like one, two counter worlds. We just need. Hmm. We are. We don't have tier one. We need you to provide some vision as well. Like one control is gonna help, especially when the. But what you doing here? Ah, they are doing the Baron. Wow. Yeah, but Gragas is pussy. Yeah, and I moved. I moved uh, wrong in that fight as well. I had bad positioning. I don't know why Gragas was sweating. He was supposed to peel you. That was the chance here. But you survived. Okay, we speed up. Baron is gone. Uh, quite, quite fast. Twenty-three Baron. Yeah, because of Ilaoi taking pressure. Can you fight? I mean, try, try. Okay, he died. Mid lane for you. Dragon, is it so? No, okay. So, good information. Do you know which factor decides? I mean, do you know when which dragon is going to be the last one? Yeah, the, the, the fourth, of course. I mean, the element of it, like the elemental of it, like the cloud, the uh, infernal, so uh, ocean. Oh yeah, after know. after two drakes, then uh, then it'll it'll be the same dragon after that. Yes, yes, yes. Good to know, but okay now. If you are, I don't know, they got a bar on 26 to 16, I know why you're gonna lose now, but okay, probably everyone started to throw around the map because this is open everywhere. Hmm. Anyway, now, uh, you can always, especially if they have Baron, they die, to, it's gonna be free dragon, but anyway, you can always give free dragons if it's needed, just to have all, every time five more minutes to scale, to get a pickup, yeah. to actually get a comeback, remember, yeah? yeah? definitely, I do so, that a lot. And even you can give the soul dragon, the cloud one. Cloud is not that good. No, cloud is, uh, I usually call it the clown soul. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, that's enough. Go back, we play death, we play death. I don't know why everyone is bored, just go mid lane, guys. Just don't, don't flip the game right now. Yeah, Yona is trolling. Yeah. And you miss the arrow. And now, the moment you miss the arrow, you don't have your self peel as well. Yeah, exactly. So you rather land it and get something. 1k gold for Shen, by the way. Oh, the game is over right now. The game is gonna be over. I remember at, uh, at this point, I, uh, I was standing really far back, like you noticed. Um, and that was because I, I thought it was a bad idea to even going for the fight. Yeah, at this yeah. Point. We, like, we shouldn't fight bot lane right now. We just stay and we turn on the turrets. Like, Varo hmm. made them come towards the turrets so we can get a pickup with arrows. Yeah. You give this, by the way. You give this. Hmm. You, you play for this now. Yeah, I you, do. I mean, it's risky. It's risky. Okay. That, that anyway. Uh, Shen is, Shen, it's impossible for Shen to be here. Why? Like because everything is open, open and yeah. he has no vision at all. Yeah. Oh my god, your positioning is as well quite suicidal. Mm. Suicide. Yeah, we shouldn't be fighting here in the jungle when you're losing. No, there's no reason and I can I just greed. I think yeah. at, at this point I'm just tilted in, in this game and I know that's... Let me the, see what you're doing. Like, this is only Gragas. Mm. I mean, just provide the peel, but you guys gonna puff here. Downside, 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 downside. Just mm. go back with them. Just go back with them. And look, you're going here, and that's the moment you int yourself yeah. with this Gragas. Mm. Like, what you guys want to do for V5? I don't know. No. Okay, you got the 300 gold, but you died. You wasted the flash for it. No, 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 man. Yeah. It's, you need to, you like, you can use the flash if the, you're going to get 1k gold, like a essential kill game changer, but usually we keep it for a... For self-peel. Objectives or self peel objectives. Yeah, if you know you're a yeah. better player, you're gonna win the team fight thanks mm. to it. Not to get a Kajiks when you're getting stomped. No. And now there is one person less to, to actually death. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's What's a lot of, there's a lot of mistakes once we get to the mid game in this game. Okay. And like I said, I've been I've been struggling a little bit with uh, with with my tilting. Uh, not that I get like completely uh, crazy angry but you know I get annoyed and then I start making these shitty decisions in bad place mm-hmm. because I feel like um, I've, I've been thinking a lot about it and I think it's because I feel like I have to carry the game so I try to yeah. make these plays that I have no no right to make so to say 
So I start looking yeah. for looking for openings and, and end up actually I mean, just suiciding. That like this situation was not good. Yeah, but yeah. overall if you wanted to look the openings, then you give a simple call. Mm. Artel, play under the talents and you ping the, your arrow. Mm. You basically this force here, this force here, this chain here, you're just pumping them, just pumping them, force them to go mm. around here, especially if there was no objective and then we could give a dragon easy, you know? So mm. the call was make opponents go under the turrets so we can actually get a proper pickup. But the problem right now, there is no one who knows what to do. Maybe they wouldn't listen anyway, but you, you, we, don't, we didn't try, so we don't know. Too much force around the map, around the jungle. They got a second Baron. We should flip it. This is going to be the... If we don't flip the Baron right now, it's over, by the way. So you rather press arrow on someone right now, mid-day, we get a pickup, or we're going to end the game right now. Do you have a yellow blue trinket? You... You have. <laughs> no. No, I don't think so, actually. That looks like it's the yellow trinket. It's good. Oh, it's blue, it's blue, it's blue. And I have no, no reason to be there at all. There's no reason for me to be standing in that circle. Okay, so how to path towards the Baron if it's risky? Shove mid lane into this side. Hmm. That's the best. Instead of face checking this or this. Yeah, there's so many bushes that I can go through this, if I go the, the The safest other. is this, but I don't know. You split through Soraka. And you're gonna, gonna go opposite. They didn't even start, maybe. Yeah, zero vision. Yeah, yeah basically yeah. they were looking for a pickup. Yeah. So you, so the proper. Push then rather as five here or push rather as like this here. Mm. Like they usually don't cheese here, they cheese here, yeah? So push this yeah. if you have time. But overall, we had to flip the bar, otherwise, game was lost and it's not gonna be lost. Okay. What was with the win condition? Like Kajix 1k gold, obviously, stand up fed with Lulu, Lulu is enough, Lulu is in there, but yeah. This is gonna be over. Mm. So now what they can do, they rather group me, they, they don't care or they do one. Free one. So Soraka Lulu with Kajik secure mid lane, mm. two side laners, well, sorry, two side laners on the sides, and then you have Baron buff from every side, and it's quite hard for you just you just can't possibly dev because always one of the sides is benefiting in one free one. But that's the thing for the future sessions for just overall the future. Basically, how to apply the baron if it's possible, if if the enemy is good or you are good, your teammates, then bottom lane if I did with the jungler mid lane. And sideliners there. And mm. some always one of the sides is gonna benefit, then a the moment someone is gonna chase one of the sides, yeah? Mm. So that's the one free one. It's like basically pressure is applied from all the sides, and the moment three of you suddenly chase Kajik or someone here, you lose two in hips. Clear? Mm. Like that's quite fast, but it's one free one position. Basically, you put may usually both is put it like this with secure of ADC, then two sideliners are careful, they're applying the buff, with the baron buff, the game is over. That, yeah. That's how they, they, they can close it. But overall, they're just gonna walk mid lane, you know? I will tell you, they're just gonna walk mid lane probably, and they're just gonna end you. Also, my own view is gonna fucking die, like, like this, this Gragas in a moment here. They have baron, just, just stay, stay near the inhibs, or you do not gonna have even chance. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, so here we go. The yeah, and, and Shen even the, ults down there, which is the worst. But you actually killed, but... I need to see this. Okay. Yeah. So, for one Yon here and Sen, game is over. The monitoring hips are down. You... Like, I had the games which I, when I won, I'm opening him without the free hips, but these games are just legendary ones. I don't think so. This is the game, you know? Mm. Yeah, simply over. Well, I will tell you, like, you have good basic base if it comes to knowledge, mm. but we still, we still notice, we still notice. Like, I would say, we, I still notice, like, a few things which, are, which could be useful for you. And your struggle is like, I, I'm going to type these factors, but if it comes to you, it's more like, I would like you to play more on limits, you know? Like, look for more items so you can learn faster. You can just actually mm. feel the, what, what you're capable of doing. Because you remember this arrow situations when they jump on Tristana, right? Mm -hmm. uh, more, more pay attention to the pulling the waves, yeah? Like, you had, you, you, the pulling is the thing which we have to work on more, mm -hmm. obviously. The pull, pull, pulling the wave is the thing pulling which them is, up, yeah. Which, which requires, yeah. But as well, the tempo, which 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 was the fatal error, was the moment you overstayed for a plate. Remember, I want to stay efficient. I have 800 gold, I want a recall, and then I'm gonna maybe kill someone instead of greeting one plate, mm -hmm. which actually opened the tier one mid lane. And then, you know, like it could be like a chain of uh, situations. Yeah. Not, we're not gonna blame it on you, obviously, like everything, 
but we're just making you aware, like how important it is, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, for, so trading, uh, sometimes there were situations when the wave, like I was telling you, okay, like the tracking of the jungle, then the wave was stacking, you was a bit scared of Tristana when Soraka had exhaust, like few details if it comes to simple analyze what we have and stuff like this. Yeah. But you, you are more like pulling uh, the waves, more aggressive, like punishing instantly, don't hesitate. Yeah. Uh, tracking the jungler was good. Like we didn't get punished as we should, but the tempo. Like I would say the session is for you to rewatch, to actually note the things. I will note them for you anyway, mm -hmm. when we finish soon. And that's, that's going to be, you are like, you are more, more this kind of a student who has like good base, but he's lost in details. Like maybe he's tilting a bit as well later or something, yeah. but we just make it to more, make you more aware. Active it comes to more detail, the detailed stuff. Exactly. You know? and that, that's what, that's why I've been, been looking for coaching mm -hmm. as well, because I feel like I, I, I know the basics and I, 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 I have the right idea a lot of times, but I feel like there's just these details that I don't notice myself when I'm looking at my own game. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was looking for you. Yeah, then you found me, yeah. But remember as well about the factors like uh, spamming calls, you know, like go back and stuff, press chat, type simple B on a chat and stuff like this to your sub. Mm. That's as well gonna be, yeah. Or if you want to show, then ask for help five times. Yeah. Stuff like this, yeah. Um, do you have some questions? Um, I don't, I feel like I've been, uh, I've been writing a bit of notes along the way and I feel like the things that you want me to focus most on is uh, this whole pulling the wave um, and then thinking about limits as well. yeah, and then thinking about what factors uh, are in play all the time like for example the exhaust being up and me mm -hmm. having heal and stuff like that that's factors Why? that I have to always think about yeah and uh, and then just less hes hesitation more tempo and play on limit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. is there anything else that like that that I haven't written down that I should focus on, you think? I would say like the, the future pathings, it was just for the cause of the tilt now. For you, I would say it's more laning, like more and more if it comes to laning. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to improve the, like the laning, if it comes to the tempo, to the more, maybe some more opportunities to play aggro, mm. and it should, it should get better, you know? Like if it comes to mid game, we didn't see that much. Like there were a few mistakes, but that's not important. Everything should be taken step by step, and for you right now, it's I would say bottom lane, yeah. like uh, lane, lane, lane. Okay. So the session is. I just need your mind to upload the session, and you have a good good book to study if it comes to the mini details, especially for you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I would like. Well, what's your impression about the session? I feel like it's. Uh, of course, uh, you you don't know how much knowledge I have. So a lot of the stuff you said in the beginning was uh, was stuff mm -hmm. I knew already. But of course, having it reiterated and talked over again was was good. And then uh, you of course notice these uh, these things that I didn't see myself. For example, that I I just thought about the fact that yeah I overstayed and that was bad. But I didn't think about the fact that when yeah, I went the uh, for the golems and uh, and then yeah. the mid tower. So basically, yeah. it was actually the the mistake of overstaying was what opened the entire game and made us lose in the end. Yeah, yeah, the te the losing the tempo on bot lane. Yeah, mm. sometimes you just have to get the turret first, then you just go roam. Like you go to for the tier one top, tier one mid, and just mm. apply the pressure. But they were the one who applied the pressure around the map faster than you. Yeah, because maybe we overstayed. Yeah, yeah. So we had a detailed analysis of. Mm. I yeah. would say. Hmm? Yeah, I was just gonna say that it was it was nice, and you made me see some things I didn't see myself. Mm -hmm. By the way, the, like what I'm usually doing with IDC mines is, IDC mines. I'm sometimes like um, I tell them that there is possibility to play like duo bot with me, and that's like what they like because the guy who I play with usually my student, he's telling me, yeah, I like you know this because you are telling me what we have to exactly do, and then if I make a mistake, you're totally on life in the queue and gamer telling me okay no because of the x factor you know so mm. as well i'm saying the future sessions this possibility for just doing the duo games when i'm just supporting you and i'm calling and i'm playing uh, i'm just usually play jana mm. so i would say that's good to feel how i would think how i feel the tempo of the game how i close the game mm. and just getting you used to my decisions you know so that's the same for the future you know yeah mm -hmm. that, would, that would be a possibility definitely
I'm gonna invite you to my student Discord as well. Like, I mean, it's my community Discord, but there is like a student zone. I can give you there a, a student role. So it's up to you if you wanna join. I'm as well supporting there yeah. uh, my students. I'm I'm doing every every week one giveaway for one hour of the free session. You know, mm. so that's always something. Yeah, I joined it already. So mm, I'm gonna give you the role right now. And uh, now, man, you can tell me about your stream, maybe before we finish what, what about it what like uh, you said you're streaming so oh I, yeah yeah i have a, i have a stream running right now it's uh yeah it's uh just uh, i started streaming because i just play at home a lot and uh i thought might as well stream it and uh then i've been focused now on, on trying to improve and then today uh, streaming this coaching session for uh, for mm -hmm. whoever wanted to watch i'm actually uh, i have eight viewers at the moment mm -hmm. i can uh, i can not bad, not bad. And link you the stream oh. did they like it like someone was on the chat meanwhile or not uh there wasn't really that much um there mm. wasn't any much that much interaction in the chat but uh i think i would i would say the ones who are actually sending the, the they they catch some 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 good factors you know like i would say if they found you then it was quite worth for them mm. Mm -hmm. I just uh, okay. i just sent you the the twitch right okay. now okay so. okay so there was uh, there was one guy who uh, who stopped by before the coaching session started, and uh, when I was analyzing one of my own games, just uh, talking through my own uh, my own thoughts and stuff mm -hmm. like that, um, and he was uh, he was actually interacting a lot and t uh, talking um, talking to me about what I thought and what my stats were and stuff like that. Um, I hope he stuck around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, so man, I would. And then after this, I'm I'm gonna of course uh, talk a little bit about about what I thought and what I'm gonna mm -hmm. do in the next couple of games, and I'm gonna play some. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, I will need your mail then, so I can upload the session right out right instantly. Yeah. And um, I would say if you will need uh, if you have some questions for future, then just don't hesitate to message me on Definitely. here, and it's gonna be all good. I'm gonna answer. Okay, so I'm gonna upload the session. You're gonna get it on your mail. Yeah. And uh, we are just in touch. Yeah. I just told you that there are many possibilities. Rather life coaching or duo life coaching. I would say duo life coaching if ADC is the most beneficial. Mm. So just if you will feel like you need more, then uh, then feel free to message me. By the way, do you have a account on the Elite Foppers, the, 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 the page you found me? Oh, uh, no. It was one of my friends who have one there. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's okay. But otherwise, I would ask for votes, but it's okay mm. if you don't. Okay. I can maybe so, tell him to uh, to to do it for me. Hmm? I mean, if 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 you if you would like, then yeah, then, then I can basically type what he has to do. It's like a sending a trade and finishing the trade and uh, typing a quick re review. You know, like uh, hmm. just basically it all good or just what you what you think. You know about the session. So it always makes me grow on the on the elite performers because otherwise I'm like uh, working for the other page, which is which I'm like top two coach there. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna type. 